This is episode 82. Are you feeling a little drained or not inspired? Well, over the past few weeks, I have been really into hiking, and I just wanted to tell you about my experiences and let you know about the benefits of hiking and how it can be beneficial to your mind and body. Welcome to the Calm Marketer Podcast. My name is Kenneth Fong, a digital marketer on a mission to help businesses thrive. I'll bring you on my marketing journey where you'll get to learn from my experiences as an INFP navigating an extroverted world and get actionable marketing tips for your business. Thanks for spending some time with me today. Now let's begin. So I live in Southern California, and ever since I moved here back in 2016, I've always wanted to really take advantage of the nature. I'm originally from Chicago, and in the Midwest, it's really flat. And so if you are into hiking, the Midwest is not a good place to kind of explore. So Ever since I've moved to California, I've always wanted to really take advantage of the nature that's around me. And, um, you know, I used to hike here and there, um, but never really too seriously or too consistently. Uh, But starting this year, I started to be a lot more consistent in finding places to hike and actually going there and, and hiking. So I've been to, I live in Chino, California. So I've been to Chino Hills State Park, which is a nice uh, area that has a lot of rolling hills. And it's really nice, especially in the springtime when the poppies grow and um, everything is really green. And so I've been to Chino Hills State Park. I've been to uh, Potato Mountain, which is in the foothills of Mount Baldy. And Mount Baldy is, I think, the highest peak in Southern California. So they have a nice trail uh, that leads up to Potato Mountain. And that's a really, really nice peak up there. Um, I went there, I would say, sometime in January. And the views up there were absolutely amazing. I also visited uh, Claremont Hills Wilderness Park. It's a five mile loop trail. And I went to the very top and then I went back down um, just one side of the loop. And then this past weekend, I went to the other side of the loop. I went up and I went back down. And I can tell you that just being Hiking, you know, I try to go every weekend and it's been really beneficial, I think, to my mind and body and just overall my mental health. You know, I think being out in nature and just working out in general really puts your mindset in a good frame and it just makes you happy and it makes you really feel accomplished. So after I am done with my hiking, I just feel so much better, you know. And just being in nature really puts you in that frame of mind of focusing on the now and just looking at the beautiful uh, landscape that I have the opportunity of of hiking through is is really nice. And um, just exerting and using your 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 thighs, using your muscles, using your legs, um, and working up a sweat can really give yourself that extra mental boost that you need. And it helps you just think about other things, you know. Um, Sometimes you are so, I'm just thinking about work all the time and, you know, the different problems. But when you hike, you are more forced to, to think about what you are doing at this very moment. And it just helps you clear your mind and it helps you become a lot more Um, I'm not sure what the exact word is, but I just become a lot more happy about where I am at and it gives me the motivation. It gives me the new mindset to tackle challenges 
that are in my life. And you get into that mindset of accomplishing things, right? Because for me, you know, I wanted to hike up and down this, this mountain in a specific uh, time. And I try to time myself and try to meet that time. And it's good because um, uh, yesterday when I went to the Claremont, Claremont Wilderness Park, it took me about an hour to go up to the very top. And I wanted to reach back down to the parking lot at 5 p.m. And it was 40 minutes until 5. So I had to really pace myself and kind of run down for the most part or walk really fastly. And I reached the parking lot in about 41 minutes. And just achieving that goal is amazing, right? Because it makes you feel so good. It makes you feel confident that you can achieve these goals that you set out to to accomplish and that just gives you that boost of, of energy and it just makes things just so much more worthwhile right so I recommend if you can um, just for your mental health just go hiking um, hike alone you know that's where you can really just be with yourself and uh, focus on, on on your hike and as you hike you kind of get inspiration and and new ideas for for how you can improve your overall business your overall life and so find a hiking spot you know I personally like just going on Google and just finding hiking spots just on my Google Maps I love just exploring in that way and reading reviews before I go of course just to make sure that people enjoy the hiking spot and I know of any thing that I need to know about, any dangers, any places regarding parking that I need to be aware about. I always like to look at reviews to make sure that that hiking spot is worthwhile to drive to. And if you are in the Midwest or if you are in a place that is snowing, I know it's February now, so hiking might not necessarily be on your top list. You know, if you can, you know, try going um, on the treadmill and just working out, I think working out in general um, really helps with your mental health. So hopefully you thought this was helpful. Um, definitely go out to the hiking trails if you can and enjoy. So with that said, I will speak to you on the next one.